They say life's tough, so get a helmet, but I've also got a mallet and a sword. I'm ready to check out how Vikings lived back in the day. Let's head inside. Look out, New York. A force of history is descending upon the Big Apple. Vikings, the exhibition is on display at Discovery Times Square. Get ready to put your knowledge to the test and learn more about these legendary seafarers. I really like Vikings. I like uh, How to Train Your Dragon a lot. Well, I always like Thor and Loki and all that Marvel stuff, so I thought it was really cool to see Norse mythology and where it came from. My wife and I are teachers, and we brought our children to see the, uh, the exhibit, and uh, we're hoping to uh, learn a little bit about Norse culture. Before we learn about the real Vikings, we need to dispel some myths. Teresa shows me a piece of Viking culture that got a little lost in translation. This is what an actual Viking helmet would have looked like. The famous myth is the Viking wore horned helmets, but when you find out in this exhibit, you know, that came in later on. Um, it was really um, an 18th century opera. The Viking character was it, horns were added to the helmet to make them look more majestic and more over the top. But we understand the fascination with the horns. So you can lift up the horns and then you have the shadow of what people think the Vikings look like. So we have the real deal and then the figure, but either way, they're both super cool. Yeah, but we'll, we'll put we'll that put one down. down. <laughs> people get the wrong idea about Vikings. They uh, are very intelligent people. They're tough, yeah which is cool. Even the women were tough. That's cool to see nowadays, too. I think people think they're really violent, but from what I've seen today, they're all about community and family, and that's something I can get behind. The communal component and the fact that they're so spiritual should kind of get rid of that, that misnomer. If you think the Vikings were all, well, Vikings, think again. The women held important roles in the community. Teresa shows me artifacts that represent their status as Vikings. These are very eye-catching, Teresa, i got to say. What's going on here? Well, these are Viking-era keys, and what's very significant about this is most of these keys were found in graves of female Vikings. The men were often away. If they went on a journey or a Viking, the women were in charge. They are the ones who held the key to the house, to the barn, to the stores. And the keys to the men's heart, of That's course. That's correct. Yeah. Just like the Vikings had a strong desire to explore and conquer, they also took a liking to hygiene. We have combs, we have tweezers, we even have an ear spoon. So they were concerned about hygiene. They wanted to keep their beards trimmed. They wanted to be clean. Wow, Teresa, so I'm so surprised how much the culture back in the Viking mm -hmm. days is the same as today. I mean, all the guys are really into their cloth and looking mm -hmm. good, and even when they're going out and Go into battle, things like that. That's right. Things really don't change. And when they were ready to sail off, you best believe that they were doing so in ships as strong as the passengers. The museum gives visitors a unique look at the Viking ships. It's very rare to actually find an actual Viking ship. They are made of wood, the wood rots. We have a little piece of wood here, but you know, to find a whole ship is actually pretty impossible. Here, they were able to find the rivets from the boat. So what we did here is we suspended it. So visitors to the exhibit, they can get a sense of, you know, how the boat was shaped, how large it was, what it might've looked like. The Vikings were strong, powerful, and resilient, and so were their best friends. Discovery Times Square held a meet and greet with the same breeds that aided the Vikings during the late 8th to 11th centuries. For visitors to the museum, learning about that part of history was anything but rough. We have breeds that were that the Vikings actually had with them, and these breeds will, will be represented at the AKC Meet the Breeds event. It's very exciting to see dogs that you may never have even heard of or seen pictures in books only, and sometimes it'll entice you to learn more about them and fall in love with them, possibly. People forget that the dogs at the dog show, most of them have been around for centuries, thousands of years, and so it really brings the historical aspect to the forefront. The breeds that we have here today that represent the Viking breeds are very very hardy dogs that have thick, dense coats that could manage that, uh, that cooler temperatures and water and, and were great hunting dogs as well that the Vikings needed. Finnish Laphans are an ancient breed uh, in the, with the Vikings and Norwegian Alcons were used to hunt elk uh, or moose uh, in Norway. So these are breeds, I think people have seen Norwegian Alcons, but Finnish Laphans are much rarer. There's other breeds like Finnish Spitz, among many other breeds from the Scandinavian countries, which people may not have heard of. And it's just starting to come into this country and being popular. Popularized. 
So when I entered Discovery Times Square, I was like, please. I know a lot about Vikings, but now I know even more. They're all about culture and community, and of course, staying warm. Reporting from New York, I'm Christy Clements.